that's Meltica, and today you can call me Sleuthing Melty, because today we are doing the investigation part of this very long but exciting trial. Yes, what kind of new clues will we find today with Feeny and Emma? Emma's okay. I miss Maya, I'm not gonna lie to you, I miss Maya, but Emma's okay. You know, she'll do in a pinch. I like her scientific sciencyness. It's cute. I like it. So, we already get started? Let's do this. Hey, hi, hello. So, I, I, I didn't keep it. It wasn't worth it. Uh, the game was capturing, and then it stopped capturing, like, immediately after I started. So, I played 10 minutes of this with no picture. So, we're going to do it again. So, here we go. We're back at R Wright and Co. Law Offices. Whatever. It's fine. Just as I was getting into it. Good thing I noticed before it was, like, an hour past. Oh, my God. Um, Mr. Wright, so... What's going on with the case anyway? I'm a little confused. Huh? Well, um, let's see. What is going on? The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the part police department are 30 minutes apart by car. You know, if my theory of edgy accidentally transporting the body without knowing there would be so much blood in that trunk right you get stabbed only once there would be so much blood in that trunk Ugh. does edgy need to get a new car i think edgy needs to get a new car is what i'm saying well that's where we're going to find out or try to at least if if, if there was a body in my trunk i think i would get a new car all right, let's do it. If I could afford to, I would really, I would, I would. Glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that these thick room glasses of mine are just for show. Let's go. Science awaits us. Okay. Oh, we're at the, we're at the underground parking again. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> yeah, it was only our victim who was killed in their evidence room. No biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. That oil drum, was it empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Yeah, we remember. I remember. My sister erasing evidence at the crime scene. Never! Even though she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all. It's just, we're both professionals at what we do and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Huh, what's that grin for? The situation calls for one thing and that is, Luminol testing fluid. It's about time. I remember this chapter five having the luminol, but I can't remember if the other games do. I went on a whole long tangent, so maybe it's better I had to do this over. You don't have to get all that, but I don't remember this, and I don't remember the flipping and dipping and the examining all the little pieces of evidence. I don't remember that in the other games too, but I could be wrong because, again, I haven't played those games in so long. I just don't remember. Whatever. Luminol! Blood is sticky stuff, you know? You can't just wash it away with a little water. And then I went on a huge tangent here. If you soak the blood stain with bleach, and then you wash it away, will luminol work? Like, how does luminol work? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Like, I, I would assume a luminol wouldn't work if you bleached it, because bleach, bleach, like, kills everything. Which is a, why it's a great cleaning tool, but, like, I don't know. I'm not trying to how to get away with murder over here. I'm just asking. I don't know. Maybe you could spray and you could see that this area had been bleached. Then people would be like, why are you bleaching the parking lot floor, huh? And that could be suspicious. Maybe, man. Nah. Maybe if you, even if you can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Give it a try. Me? Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. We're testing blood stains with this stuff, not drinking it. Here, look, I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You had an extra pair of those things? It's so red. I wish it was pink. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. To test for a blood reaction, just spray luminol on it. Like this, see? Press enter to spray on it. Okay, let's find us some blood stains. It's not as fun. With the stylus, you could you could really like boom boom boom. It was very satisfying. 
You can't do that with this one, but it's okay. Here, the, well, let's get to the... Let's get to the... Cut to the chase here. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So, this is a blood stain. Uh, it's so... Uh. Emma, you're shaking. It's just, this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation in action. Okay, well, we definitely know that this is a blood stain, but it doesn't something strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. What's odd about this, scientifically? The amount of blood. The perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so. I mean, look at all that blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It's not that much, but there would be a lot of blood. That's not a lot of blood. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd have to have been more blood than this. Hmm. Hey, Mr. Wright! I'm gonna mark up the floor plans when we find the blood stain, okay? See? I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy, too. I saved up my allowance to buy that. Luminol testing fluid received from one very proud-looking Emma Sky. We can't be sure that this poli the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Then let's drag the hidden evidence out into the light of day. Yeah! It feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? Guess I should give the spray a spray on anything suspicious. Ha! I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Miss Star! You only trust your own eyes, hmm? Not bad, you two. Sashimi. This day-old deli box is on the house. Why do they have to, like, make it things that aren't... Who's gonna call this a deli box? It's a sashimi... It's sashimi, ne? That is a raw fish. Is that really deli meats deli box? Also, you're gonna eat a day-old deli box, you're gonna get sick as hell. Sorry, it's just that kind of lead doesn't really get my mouth watering. Alright, this is basically where I left off, so this is, this is good. We're back. We're back. Into new territory. You certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but... No, no, it's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know. I witnessed everything from that security room right there. But I was afraid that it wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry, you lied on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Just to add, like, drama and belief, like, just say the truth, you know? Oh, she mad now? Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the place I witnessed the offense was from different... <laughs> start over. Even if the place I witnessed the offense from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. What if... Hold up! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Somebody killed him at the police department. The police department, he's dead. He's dead, 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 Reno. Okay. Murderer throws the body in Miles Edgeworth's car. Miles, being unaware, drives here. No, what? No, hold on. Drives here, parks his car not understanding the situation, goes up there. And then Lana comes down. She takes the body out of Edgeworth's car, props him up, stabs him in the... He, she just, you know, takes the, the knifey out and st stab, stab him. And then... Ooh, or maybe she... He has one stab wound. She goes in his toolbox, Edgeworth's toolbox. She finds the knife. And she stabs him with that knife in the hole in the in the place that he was stabbed it creates a new weapon what like a new murder weapon that wasn't actually the murder weapon necessarily looks like kind of paints Edgeworth in a bad light potentially he has some involvement question mark which we know he doesn't and Lana is willing to take the fall for it so it's not investigated and the real murderer is not uncovered I don't, I feel like that would show up in an autopsy report though, right? That if you're stabbed with a different knife, there would be a different hole in your body. 
and like they would be able to tell from the blood stain maybe on the Ezra's knife it was not the one that first broke the skin or something I don't know I don't know forensics but I feel like that would be true right I think that's what happened though I, I think that Lana is covering for somebody and that maybe she stabbed a dead body and not an alive body so it's it's not that Angel's not Angel's not lying she just misinterpreted it because she just saw somebody getting stabbed but she wasn't expecting the person to already be dead that's what I think. That's what I think. That's what I think. That's what I think. I swear on my honor as a detective, she stabbed Goodman. <gasps> I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? So, you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? Yes, it was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hardened the criminal, they faced me. When they faced me. They coughed it up. Coughed it up. They confessed. They babble like babies. You know, I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect, and before long they called me the Cough of Queen. Oh, and here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. And you were let go, or fired? I felt that I found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. Ooh. SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean. What? Did you present something? This? Oh, I didn't mean to check it. I meant to shove it. Oh, here. The SL9 incident. It's written on that knife. And on that note, Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know. Really? That knife is evidence from this case. From that case, the murder weapon. It was due to transferal of the very day that Goodman was killed. As I suspected, SL9 isn't over yet. Not yet! This is the second case. We're dealing with DL6 not being resolved right. Now we're dealing with SL9 not being resolved right and causing problems in the future or in the present. Nah. Do you think you could oh, you tell us more about SL9 is probably what it said. Why is it not here though? Do I have to present the knife to her? Do you have to spray her with luminol? <laughs> Hold on, we'll, we'll find out what he said, because I have to do this again. It just seems weird that she doesn't have a way to talk about the, the SL... Okay. Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? But then she doesn't. Why? Eh? Okay, I may have cheated, but it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We have to present this and the crime scene pic, and then we're good. And then she'll talk to us about the case. I had one of those up until two years ago. Back when you were the cop-up queen, right? We found this ID card here in this parking lot. Well, there's no mistaking that. It's definitely Goodman's. But it's the same ID as the man who was killed at the police department. That's impossible. I wish I could be so sure. And then the crime scene photo. If you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room. But even I get flustered sometimes. So you went straight to the scene of the crime. I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes? In other words, five minutes after the crime? Those five minutes are the whole problem. The whole of my testimony, as it were. The five minutes weren't the problem, Miss Star. You, you lying was the problem. She doesn't seem to have learned her lesson, eh? Listen, little girl, I've had my testimony disregarded before, and I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. But it kind of was because you lied. <laughs> Just like that time. That time? Okay, now will you talk? There we go. That instant really opened my eyes to the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable to who? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I've ever handled. Look at this ragtag team of goofballs. 
I like her little beret, though. It's better than what she's wearing now. Uh, the police and prosecutors were desperate for de decisive evidence. So they didn't solve it? On the contrary. It was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and... Executed. Executed? Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was... They never did find decisive evidence. Not a shred. What? But the criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of a sort. Made up evidence. What? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those? Myself and one other person you know well. Wait, could it be? Exactly. Detective Jake Marshall. Oops, I mean Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. Jake was particularly determined, and then it was over. And he was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9? There was another side to that case, a hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait! Those lunches you sell... There's only one reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. Hmm. I come here to meet old friends, boyfriends, that can help me investigate. Miss Starr's old boyfriends. How many does she have, anyway? Just when all the detectives on SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection! So, rookie. What? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yes. Steak! Then you should take this, the biggest steak, on top of rice with french fries. Does that look good? Does that look good to you? Why do people put butter on steak? Doesn't that just feel a little too much? A little too much fat? I don't know. I'm a bad one to ask. Meh. The carrots look good. A Salisbury steak lunch? I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Okay. Um, Miss Star, Officer Marshall, is he your, uh, are you his, are you g g going out? <laughs> Why do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. And he was so nice, and he was nice to me too back then. This would be when Officer Marshall was a detective. But now, now he's so cold. Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Hmm. I think we're done with her. I say we move. Um. Well, let's go in order. See if anyone wants to talk to us here. I don't think she will. Oh, never mind. She's in questioning. Okay. I hope the detectives aren't yelling at her. How did you kill him in two places at the same time? Can you imagine? How's she supposed to answer that? Wait a second. Didn't Mr. Gant say that he arrested a suspect in the police department murder? Let's come back later. Okay. Sounds good. Wow, everyone looks deadly serious here. Well, there was a vicious murder of a police of a detective down at the police department. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the, at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. Ugh, it makes my head hurt. Well, first things first. Let's go check out the police department crime scene. Yes, you sound dead set on investigating. But don't mess up or we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more mysteries or dead bodies around here right now. But it doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. Alright. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense. The detective did get killed here after all. 
So the evidence room, the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk, here it is. She's like a kid at an amusement park. Ooh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. Oh, are we allowed to? Oh, here. Guard station. Ooh, this is a lot, isn't it? This is a lot of, uh... Is a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's with the decor in this place? It's very eccentric. The cactus are very cute. The cacti. I enjoy this. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. So beyond that door is the evidence room. The scene of the crime. It sure seems that way. Oh, oh. What's wrong? It's those cacti. They're so prickly and imposing. It's hard to think straight. What? Well, cacti are very cute. They're, they're not out to hurt you. If you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. What I want to know is if this guard... If this is the guard station, where is the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. You don't say. I like how this just says Texas. I want to look at the cacti. Ugh, these these guys are so cute. These like dumb ones. I love these. Although you gotta love like these these like little ball ones. They're so cute. I love cacti. Yipes! These sure are prickly. They must be the real deal. I would think just one big one would be sufficient. Cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. <laughs> How so? Encased in a cold, rigid shell with spines pointing out in every direction. Just like her. I'm not so sure I see the resemblance. It's more of an attitude thing than a physical similarity. Okay. <laughs> with that, let's go. I'm assuming he's gonna be back. Oh. This is charged with frantic energy as always. Please! Wasn't that... One steak lunch, please. Oh, it's you. Detective Gumshoe. Now is not the time for chit-chat, pal. I'm a busy man. What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. I think I just heard the sound of his heart breaking. Now's no, now's no time for despair. We've caught our criminal. Now we just need evidence. Don't you need evidence before you catch your criminal? Whatever. The criminal, you mean... You heard about the stabbing at the police department evidence room, right, pal? On the same day, a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot. Another detective was killed at the police department. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. It's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything's topsy-turvy. But Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal, all I need to know is I need to get me a steak lunch pronto. Are we going to give it to him instead of Marshall? Standing around here, I'm talking isn't going to fill my belly. Oh, never mind. He's gone. Wait, don't leave. If you want to know more, head on down to the detention, detention center, pal. Questioning should be over, so I figure he's down there having a good cry. Oh, later. Oh. He ran off to the evidence room. Well, this investigation is off to a run and start. Oh. How do we get there? How do we get there? Here. Still, I do feel better about things a little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Yeah, I guess they did. Best not to go too far down that road right now. Things will just get confusing. The heck was that? What was that? Sir! That's what I'm saying. Me, a perpetrator. I'd say I was perpetrated again, sir. That's what I'd say. Oh, it's this, this fool. Ah, uh, oh, uh, hi. Greetings, sir. Wait, I know who you are. They're having Meekins take the fall. You know this guy didn't kill anybody. This guy can barely do his job. <laughs> Excuse me, but Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Officer Meekins, so you're a guard here at the detention center? No, sir, I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman, like a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report? No, sir, I, uh, 
How should I say this? Wait, he isn't. Is he? You! Officer Meekins! You didn't... Did you? Er... Oh, he's making that sound. Perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir! What? What? Now this is an unexpected turn of events. This big idiot didn't do it. You know he didn't do it. Sir, can you not make that sound? Sir, I'm a patrolman with general affairs. Sir, sir! Ow, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some business that day, sir, so I went into the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the evidence room. That's right, sir. Because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Now, the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. Marshall? Then, oh, this face is kind of cute. Yeah. Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir! It looks like he just stabbed himself, but I don't think that's what happened. What the heck is this guy doing? This guy is a lot. So, what happened then? That This guy's a lot, and we're talking in Ace Attorney terms. That's a lot, a lot. You know what I'm saying? After that, sir, I, everything went white. I saw red, I blacked out. And then when I came to, I was here in the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Um, might I ask? What happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand. Just like Miss Sky. What is happening? Yet another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. Do you think someone stabbed him in the hand and then like used his blood or something? For framing purposes? First things first, tell us how you hurt your hand. Hold on. I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir! If you have to label me as a perpetrator or victim, sir! Then label me a victim! Um, I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive as well at that? Uh, yes, well, uh, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger, or a total stranger, then I'd say he leans heavily on the total stranger side. So you didn't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light on other creature comforts. I don't know any detectives. This poor existence. If he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir. None. Nor do I have any recollection of killing him, sir. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. How about your hand? Did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir? I, er... Uh... You don't remember. Don't you think you should just confess? But, sir, sir, but there was nothing I could do. Nothing you could do? To tell the truth, sir, when it happened, when the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir. What is happening? And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious? Eh? So Goodman pointed the knife at him? Goodman knew he was being tracked or something. He was on edge. Meekins comes in like the big doofus he is. Scares the bejesus out of Goodman. He kind of goes for him with the knife like, Hey! This scares Meekins. He passes out. And then Goodman is like, Whoops. Good thing you weren't a killer. And then gets killed by the killer. Something like that. And then the killer is like, Yo, perfect. I have someone to frame this on. And does stuff. I think that's probably what happened, right? It has to be. The next thing you knew you were, huh? Then when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir. All alone. Alone because, because Detective Goodman had disappeared. What? When I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was, they used his blood to frame. I think. Oh, the shock. Oh, the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body disappeared. Hmm, that's some story. Do we have anything else we need with him? I kinda... Um... I think 
we're okay. Let's go to, um, Edgy's office now. I want to see Edgy. My boy. My boy old. It's a Rooney. Okay. Well, this place is as classy today as it was yesterday. And I'm sure it'll still be just as classy tomorrow, Emma. Incidentally, Edgeworth's not here. Oh. I'm sure he's off doing important investigations. I hope that's what he's doing. Hmm? I guess I'll have to come back. Mm -hmm. Maybe I am supposed to show Meekin something, don't I? Nah. I feel like we are. Unless you're here. Nope. Okay, what are we gonna show Meekins? Because we gotta show him something. Unless... No, okay. Here we go. I'm getting all turned around. Nope, nope, not talking. Uh... I'm scared of knives, sir. It's okay, I just wanted you to take a look at it. That's it, sir! The last night, sir! That's the one! I was an apple... Wait, huh? I was an apple, sir, in my dream, sir, and I was... I was being peeled. Ugh. On second thought, you don't have to look at the knife. He's overreacting to the knife, but I guess he's been through a lot. <laughs> uh huh. Um, do you think you could take a look at this? Hey. That's it, sir, that's it! That's it! What's what? My head was blank until this very moment. But sir, now I remember. I remember, sir. You mean you remember what happened? Correct! That card! That card was the cause of it all. Oh, 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 oh. This is good then, eh? This ID card. Exactly, sir. That's exactly it. Nothing could be more exact, sir. Nothing! I'd better pry into this one little deeper. Okay. Good. We got something. Can you tell me what it is that you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little, a lost little patrolman, a lost little lamb, if you will. I didn't know Detective Goodman, who was in the evidence room. And that's why you thought he looked suspicious. Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. That's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing, suddenly he pointed a knife at me. What? Sir, I sir, I assume you... I, no, I can read. S sir, I assure you, I was as flustered as you are right now. So I whooped him and leapt at him. He whooped. Did some Goodman point a knife at him? Do unto others before they do unto you. My own father's words, sir. Okay. What happened then? Well, my eyes, sir, everything went white, and when I awoke, I was here. Right. So, Officer Meekins, why was it that you were- they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman, and the victim, who he met at the scene of the crime, didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. That's a good point. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir. That, that's what I wanted to say. That is, I did say something along those lines. Huh? But you still ended up here? They told me that it had to be him, sir. On that day, at that time. Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't remember the evidence events clearly? No, but the videotape is quite clear. Huh? Videotape? From the security camera. The crime, my crime, the crime I swore to stamp out. It's there, it's me, it's on tape. Huh? And you waited until now to tell us this? I'm sorry, really sorry, sir. I'll hand over my badge. I don't deserve it. No, thanks. I have my own. 
Well, I guess we better go check out the crime scene. Okay, okay, okay. This was good. We unlocked what we needed to unlock. Nay. Wait. I gotta know. How do you feel about... It's not gonna show. I wanted him to say something... Maybe you should ask Mr. Edgeworth? Okay. Well, whatever. It takes a special kind of man to pass the book to Edgeworth. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright. I wanted something cute. We gotta show it to, uh... What's his face? How do we get to where we need to go? Okay, well, it's fine. Hey, Mr. Wright! Look who's standing at the Chief of Detectives desk! Police Chief Gant! Orange suits. And you're sure this is all, hmm? You know what it means if there's anything missing. Sir! I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect! We checked all of his drawers, lockers, garbage cans, bags, coat pockets, hats. Under a seat cushion, behind a computer monitor, inside his personal coffee machine. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you can call me right away, deal? Yes, sir. We'll scour the place again, sir. Chief of Detectives looks a little flustered. Aha, uh -huh, right oh my boy. How you been? Swim much? Oh, Chief Gant reporting for duty, sir. <clears throat> Why are you saluting him, Mr. Ray? I don't want to talk to this guy. He makes me feel weird. Um, is Edgeworth going to be okay? Oh, worthy? Oh, you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquisition. Yep, well, they had no end of trouble with the boy since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right? Righto? Found karma. A legend he was, undefeated in his 40-year career. But in court you fixed so that he was caught for forging evidence. Wait, I didn't do anything wrong. He did forge evidence, and he also did a murder. Well, arranged it. In any case, this prosecutor's office is in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what that inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for worthy. What?! This is bad, this is bad. It's downright odd, I tell you. The detective getting killed on their turf, too, I mean. They're being the prosecutors, I assume. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? No, no, righto, I can't give away all our secrets just like that. And this particular, well... It's a little sensitive, and I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of all is heightened stuff. Secrets. Can't stand them. But you know, it's a full-time job just keeping the chief of detectives trap shut. Now, he was the one you were picking on earlier. Huh? Oh, you saw that? Whoops. I wonder what, what it was that he wanted the chief of detectives to do. Let's just see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. Well, we're not going to be able to do that while this guy is here, right? I don't want to talk to him. I just want to go. He is not here. We are going to have to talk to him, right? There's nothing else to do. Right? We already know Edgy isn't going to be here for a bit. Or maybe at all, since he's in trouble. Shoot, what do we show Gant? We gotta show Gant something, right? How do we get back there? Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. No, not move. Um... Go find that guy who can't seem to sit still out there, the busy one. The guy who can't sit still? Does he mean Detective Gumshoe? Either him or the Dancing Blue Badger. Well, do you think he'll be there now? No. Mm. I feel like we have to present something to him, right? Okay, I looked it up. We have to examine to be able to talk to him. That's how we do it. I was kind of assuming Gant would leave and then we could talk to him then, but whatever. 
Oh, sorry, you had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the chief of police want you to do? Let's see over there. That's Goodman's desk. Hmm. If you wanted me to check it for anything, that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So I think belonging to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not. Well, except for this. What, you kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on it is February 21st. Better make a note of that just in case. Yeah, okay. Good. I should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene. What if we show this to him, this guy? Hold on. Okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to present it. Okay. No. Hmm. Well, okay. Now that we got it, let's let's see if if what's his face is outside. No! Eh? Oh my god, we could just talk to him. Never mind. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Hmm? Well, I never thought the day would come when Raito asked me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. This guy in his pauses. Now, Raito. Actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate after all. Raito, please do look. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50, then I'd give them $50, no problem. So go ahead and investigate that room to your heart's content and knock yourself out. Just goes to show you never know until you ask. And for you here, you can borrow this. Hey, this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? Oh, it's a special card for guests, so don't, so don't lose it. Yes, sir, it's an honor. You just run along now and do your best now. Later, folks. Okay. Hey, hey, it looks pretty cool on my lapel, doesn't it? Just think, a real ID. You seem happy. Yes, sir, because, sir, we get to go into the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. All right, cool. How do we get in there? Here. Mm. Okay. I expected something to happen. No, you just have to examine this. The evidence room is beyond that door. I, I would just I just thought we'd get here and then they'd say something. And we have the ID card from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Aha! The card reader's turned off, see? What is that security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well, what's made my bambina's sky so gray? Officer Marshall! Why does it have to be him? What's with this why does it have to be him look for? As you may have surmised, this here's my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw! That card you got there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw! Well, what you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's waiting. Looks like the card reader's on again. While we're here, I was wondering if you could I could ask some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I have no mind to tangle with you hom hombres. You're busy then? Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Okay. Well, that's friendly. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us hombres, but... So, maybe before we go, let's give him this, right? That smell. Ah, uh, reminds me of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this for my baby? Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah, Miss Star. What's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch. I see, I see. I don't see. I wonder what it means. Steak lunch given to Officer Marshall. Alright, Bambina. You win. Ask anything. Finally, it seems like... 
He's willing to talk. All right, cool. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center told us. Ah, oh, that poor little doggy. Poor guy, I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when a stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from detective two years ago. Well, it might not look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. So what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my steed, Zippy. Note, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang-up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't take to machines much. Kind of like that stewed broccoli they sneak next to your steak, you know? The, the only part that I can eat? Yeah. Who doesn't like broccoli? Come on! Miss Starr told us something. She said you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now, like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Starr, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times that no one tells us what had actually happened. There are some things you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago? The day of our case! That's right. The evidence transferals. I just was talking about the transferals, too. I know what maybe two of the machines here and here do. Only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, me and machines, well. I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower next to my steaks. Cauliflower is not as good as broccoli, but it's still pretty up there. It's still high tier, but not as good as broccoli. Also, sometimes it can smell weird. Broccoli doesn't smell weird. The easiest ones to understand are here's, these here security cameras. Those are the ones Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, then the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard and you reckon? One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. That's the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. Oh, okay. Who's all sevens? This is their ID card record. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Babina. I can't show you more than that. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe there's some way I can prove that record is tied to the stabbing. Hold on, let's just do this first. Sorry, but could you explain that whole transferal thing? The whole transferal thing is about? We can o keep only evidence solved in the cases in this room. They're kept here in, in, under the presiding detective supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? What happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault of the county sheriff's department. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. I see now. Transferal is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. And that happened to the SL9 two days ago. Okay. Let's show him the ID. See this? This is the victim's ID card. Ah, uh, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is 5842189. Officer Marshall! Show us that ID card record again. You figured it was in there, right? Look at the fourth number. It's a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Meekins say? 
Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing. Suddenly, he pointed a knife at me. If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? All right, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Yeah. I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. What if we show it to him? I want to know what his ID is. The sheriff's back in the Wild West didn't place much faith in evidence. Well, the only thing they trusted was their shooting hand. Um, there's neither Wild nor West here. But that that and this are two entirely different things. I, I guess so. Huh? I'm lost. Okay. So... I think we're okay, right? We can just go in now. Yeah. Alright. Evidence room, sector three! It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. So this is the evidence room. It really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. Nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. What is all this garbage? Eek! Whoa! Oh, whoa, everything's happening. I was looking at the... See, there's the... This stuff. The fishing pole and uh, the... What's it called? Detector. Those are... Remember, we rented those things out from... From, from uh, Gumshoe. Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking the ghosts on the head, pal. So it's true what I heard? Right, oh, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I have $50? I'd give them $50, no problem. So go ahead and investigate it. We know, we just did this. Yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Gant. Will loan anyone 50 bucks? Even me? <laughs> Gumshoe's funny. Oh, so that's what you were talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of investigating for today. Just for today? Boss for a day. But guess what? You got the chief permission from Chief, so now you're a boss for a day. Gee, thanks. First of all, you'll want to have this. Okay. See what this stab me? Okay, we should look at that. Hold on. I mean, I don't want to present it to him, but I, I want to look at it. Alright, that's... Okay. What do you got to say? Boss for a day. So Detective Gumshoe, you're boss for the day. That's right. It's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're a boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? Maybe that's us. I kind of. They're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. If in my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here, too, Detective Gumshoe? Of course. I am a detective, after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? Hold on. I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is the inquiry committee- is in the inquiry committee right now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. This place is more of a high-tech, more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using the ID card? Well, that's a thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm only on my third card since entering the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh! You mean fingerprint! Exactly, pal. The lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. So the only locker we can open is our own. Funny, they look normal like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor, and if the wrong person touches it, zap, you get a shock. If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's, um... Oh, ne never mind. Um... Let's show them this. Can you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who came here at the time of the murder. Whoa! What is it? The, 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 that second number. It's not your ID number, is it Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth! What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. What? What? Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Hold on, let's look at this again. To me, a really important person is this 49. This number. Because they left they left around the time of the stabbing. Who is this? Oh, obviously the 777 one. We need to know too, but whatever. Alright, uh you have something to say? No. No, no, no! Oh! Who else, what else are we gonna ask him? What else can we show him? We need to talk about the SL9, so maybe... Here we go. Let's show him... This. Detective Goodman's note, and that switchblade knife. I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone. Because of the SL9 connection? That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Can you talk to me about it? Yeah, there we go. Now, that was a bloody violent case. Violent. So it was a murder. A serial killing. A serial killing. Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors. About forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transferal the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? So, so, that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? That's a victim of Detective Goodman's ID card. These days, everything's cards and secret numbers. I can never relax. It's only because you always lose your card. I always forget my secret number, too. Scary, huh? My face should be enough ID. When the world, what's the world coming to? Detective Gumshoe rebel against the system. Okay, that was kind of useless, but I liked it anyway. Uh... What else do we do? Oh... Oh. Wasn't this open before? Let's look at stuff. Look, this one's open. And the red indicator light is above the door. That locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker? Are you sure it's okay that, to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. It's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. These. Someone left a glove here, but only one. Is that a gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal, making me act some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know. You mean SL9? Does it, have a, it does have a tag on it. Extremely thin rubber glove. Okay. Tag is all this. Why is there paint on the floor? We'll get there, but... Wow, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Do we have to put this back together? I vaguely remember this. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of hooligan. That's apparently from the case. The case? That's all an incident, pal. See the sticker on one of the pieces there? No, but sure. Another piece of SL9 evidence. I wonder what happened. 
pieces together. Okay, I should... This is not the hard part. There's something with this that's hard, but it's not this part. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it, whatever it was broke. You want to try to put it back together? Ha! Good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why, well, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Oh. Oh! Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Alright, here we go. Again, I think this is a little easier... Oh, God. On the DS. That looks like the top. Hold on. Rotate left. Oh, my God. There. Uh, E. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, we need, like, a weird thing. Q? I'm not good at these kind of spatial puzzles. Disclaimer, but... This one? But I will do my best. This doesn't seem like it's that bad. Famous last words, but, you know, whatever. This? What is that? Dots. You saw the dots, right? Oh, wait, we know this one. This one. Oh, no, 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 no. I meant to rotate it. This, 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 this one. No. This one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the heck am I looking at? I can barely see. This? Okay. This one. Yes. This is actually kind of soothing. I like it. I only have two pieces left, but yet... I feel like I don't have the pieces for this somehow. Sure. We're missing a piece though, man. Huh? Well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too. In two minutes myself, the problem is finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? But they were missing to begin with. Still, it doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. But what the heck is this? I'm trying to understand how it got broken. Unstable jar. Okay. What is all this nonsense on the floor? This paint and stuff. Like, what the heck is this? What is the saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time. True art has always been a war against oppression. What is happening? True art? I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint. It's blue badger stuff. <gasps> Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the blue badger. Well, you might say this is my studio. Here in the evidence room. You have a lot of free time on your hands, don't you, girl? Okay, let's look at this. What's this? Blood? It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright! What if there's other bloodstains left in this room? We should use our testing fluid to check it out. How do we do that? Tab. Use. Spray. I always want to use the mouse, and I cannot. Um, how do we spray? Enter. We just look at that, or is there? I mean, well, I guess let's look at this since it turned up, right? I knew it! This is someone's right handprint. What? What's the matter, detective? This locker. It's mine! Oh no, it's yours! Please, you have to help me when they come take me away. I promise you'll testify that I won't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. 
What? But you're a detective! <laughs> Stupid. Okay, uh... Well, now what? There's nothing to say about this. Stuff with evidence, stuff with dreams. Not sure about the dreams. Oh, no, but she really think it would? Hey, pal, our security's high tech around here. Spray on this side too. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Oh my god! Here I thought I was a fool, but I'm not. Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if you flat out the door. This might be something significant. Hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, this? It's called luminol testing fluid. Where'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some too. What do you mean, gumshoe? Are you for real? I'll, bar I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? I was buy it by mail order. Well, I better jot this down on the floor plans. Interesting. Ah! Blood. A lot of blood. That must have been one of the massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make note of it on the floor plans. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. Hey, pal, look at the time. Was there something you needed to be going to do? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm going to give them my report for the day. Oh, this... <gasps> I remember this guy. Oh, my God. I remember this guy. I don't think he's come up yet, though, right? I don't think so. I'm going to go give them my report for the day. It might help, you know. R report You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? That one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later. I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. Alright, so, uh, let's, uh, do that, then. God, how do we get there? Here, and then here. Yes. Eddie! Eddie! How are you feeling? Oh. What are you doing here? My apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. He doesn't remember us. Is Edgeworth here? They are standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. Oh, he's upset. Right. He has a hotel bring him tea service. That's hilarious. Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? Wait, so is all the stuff on the side, he doesn't do it? He asks someone to do it for him? Because that is some rich bitch kind of energy, girl. Tea's not that hard, trust and believe. Like, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do it, right? You just need that hot water... I have a hot water pot and it tells you the temperatures. You just adjust the temperature depending on which tea and then you push boom and then you go. You steep them for as long as whatever kind of tea and you take it out and then you drink it. It's not rocket science, Eddie. You can do it. You're a smart boy. This is some major, this is some major bougie energy, man. Have a freaking person come and do your tea for you. What's up, Edgeworth? <laughs> I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah, yes. He brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Aww. Um, the real info was on the other side, Edgeworth. But I like that... I like that... I like that he thought that. I think that's kind of sweet. <laughs> Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing has really taken a toll on him. 
What's up, Edgy? So how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Ugh. Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney, however. Something happened? They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes, any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of police, Gamp. I can do nothing but wait for his results. Mm, I see. Why, I ask you, why? All along I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still... Oh, I've never seen him this out of sorts. I've got many things to present to you, Bibi. Um, let's start with this. Oh, right, I better check this now. As I was saying, I... <gasps> What's this? A record of an ID charge card usage. Edward, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why, Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. You know, does it only log the entrances, not the exits? Because then the person who went in before went in again at the time of the murder. I was asked by Chief Gant, no less. By the Chief of Police? What the heck is that? He wanted evidence for a case that was wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it here for the in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be alright. This is so bad. I feel like Gant is setting his him up really bad. It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbing, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. Better make a note of it. Stubborn as always, I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. Can we like luminol spray that? Wait, hold on, we have so much evidence now, oh my god. Mmm. Kind of just looks like a regular thing, doesn't it? Okay, right, let's look at this. AI-16. AI-16. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing, apparently. At least that's what Ezra said. That makes it seem all the more suspicious. Who knows, this might turn out to be the clue that breaks the case. Wouldn't that be nice? It's gotta be something, otherwise the game wouldn't give it to you. Uh, we gotta present more to Edgy. Uh, right, please. I'm the prosecutor on this case. Oh, okay. Just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright, Mr. Edgy told you no in a very polite manner. Side are you on anyway? Okay. Maybe if I just show him my best evidence, I can get some reaction out of him. Best evidence. This? No. Mm. Mm. I kind of want him to talk about SL9 stuff. I feel like I don't know. What is my best evidence? Uh, this? I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on, the SL9 incident, and some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. Unless you're talking about his father's murder at the elevator. Okay, Edgeworth. Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Okay. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy pol chief of police at the time, Damon Gant. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago too then. He was a top officer and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Well, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> what is he, a robot? 
What I want to know is why a deputy chief of police was on the investigation. In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't. Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor warned, wanted to know something. My sister, what? If you were still studying forensic science. Huh? Yes, of course. Why, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this. Luminol testing fluid, hmm? Well then. Oh my god, he's giving us tools to sleuth. I love it. You might have use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints. It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. For me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. It's worth... I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I... Th thanks! How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? Okay. This is exciting. I don't remember this. Doing fingerprints. One last investigation! Right. Okay. I think we're good then. I do see, remember seeing suspicious handprints somewhere. Wait, can we use this on? Can we use this in his room? As a test router? Wait, we, uh, maybe not, nah. Wait, no, uh. No. I wanted to do something fun. I wanted to look around. I wanted to see. Is there anything suspicious in Miles Edgeworth's room? I kind of doubt it, but you know me. I like to I like to snoop. I like to snoop around, okay? <laughs> I was being dumb, but there's something here? I was literally screwing around. What? It looks like some blood has dripped down here. Eh? <laughs> Judging by the amount, my guess is it's from a nosebleed. A nosebleed, hmm? Maybe in his wrath. Mr. Edgeworth slapped some, someone for their incompetence. Why did Detective Gumshoe's face come to life? <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything. It was just, like, stupid. I appreciate... I appreciate it. Um... <laughs> I appreciate it entertaining me in this, in this way. Uh... I, I enjoyed that very much, yes. Okay. We gotta fingerprint the heck out of this place. Our investigation turned up suspicious handprint. Here, in this blood and the detective evidence locker. We must use a secret weapon we just borrowed. Oh, I don't get to freaking do it. Fine, whatever. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. Duh! So let's choose finger that will have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger! Just choose the thumb for- what is this? Is it just an ugly smudge? Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Are we getting to do it? Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First you take aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? With enter, see? Ah, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Oh, this... I missed the DS, you guys. I missed the freaking DS. The DS... Listen, the Switch is very good and I like it very much, so I'm not trying to hate on the Switch, but the DS was my jam. I lived on the DS, for better or worse. I really did. Because you could... You had this, the little microphone, you could tap, 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 Put the aluminum powder on, and then you go, and it blows away. I can't blow onto my screen. What's going to happen? Nothing. Spoil the excess. Huh? How did I do that? With E. Exciting, I know. No, it's not. Imagine you're blowing out of the candles on a birthday cake. See? Wow, that looks like fun. It might take some getting used to, though. It's fine. I wouldn't go up your nose or anything. 
You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Ray. Guess I better give it a try. Okay, so let's, uh, let's dust, dust, dust. And the blow, blow, blow. Wait, did I not dust enough? Maybe not. And a blow, blow, blow. Blow, blow. Blowing. How am I so bad at this? Are you for real? Okay, and then blow. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. We're making the shape of it. I got it. It's got it, got it, got it, got it. This is so fun. I like this. Okay. Blow, blow, blow. There we go. You did it. You found one. But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm, now as you mentioned, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Someone was wearing gloves, right? Or no? Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Yeah. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints. Looking at the locker door again closely. Yeah, you see that smudge of Rooney. Seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Mm -hmm. Fingerprints outside the blood. Come on, Feeny. It's right there. It's right there for you, Feeny. Okay. Dust! Dust! It's not the same as the DS, but this, this, this will do in a pinch, you know? Okay. Dusting. And you blow. my own fingerprint. Wait, this isn't good enough for you? To me it's pretty clear, but here, I'll just do the top and the bottom because I feel like it's maybe... There we go. Yay, a print so clear it's dazzling. Hmm. Dazzling? Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet? This is quite a process. Come on, Fee, it's fun! Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? Guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth and point out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to do that? Or know who it was? I can make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprint are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprint would most likely find in the evidence locker? I'm not looking at my own fingerprint like... Which one looks the closest to, to this one? And, like, you don't really think about what people's fingerprints look like, but they're all really different, right? Lana? Oh, those are the same. Do you think, like, siblings have similar fingerprint style, or is it totally random? Fingerprints are wild, right? It's so exciting to me. Yeah, I figured it was gumshoe, but I, I didn't. I don't care. I want to look at all of them now. I have, like, this weird obsession. Ooh, his is like really flat, right? All right, well we know who it is. It's freaking Gumshoe. Ooh, this is fancy. That made a very nice sound. Aha! So the prince belonged to Detective Gumshoe because that's his locker, right? Something wrong, Mister Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking, so what? Okay, we've come up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. We have the other f hand print, right? Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, yeah, 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 yeah. There's one other hand print in this room. Let's check it out. We got a cue. Slide. Uh, wait, how do we do this? No, 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 we have to use the thing, right? This one? No, maybe we don't. Maybe we just examine. Luminal fluid reaction, right? Yes. Right. There was a handprint here. Okay. Want to try using this? Yes, 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 yes. There go her eyes sparkling again. Check for points. That's a spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will be wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. 
Can you see the probability of our hypothesis is high? Don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Here, ne? This is only part of the hand. So... I covered too big of an area, but I got carried away. It's fine. Oh, it's not good enough. Here, and the bottom. How about that? There we go. Um, Marshall. It's Marshall's. Marshall, what you doing, Marshall? This is this is very sus, Marshall. Hey, these fingerprints, they whose are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Officer Jake Marshall. Interesting. That's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the case. In the crime. Emma. This is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminal reaction. But the blood and the fingerprints are the same place. Oh. Oh! So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints. Wiped on a wiped blood stain. That does not look good for him, huh? But why would Officer Marshall... It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I feel like Emma is not happy, though. I don't believe it! Well, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean he did it, but it sure doesn't look good. Interesting. 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 So that's gonna do it for today. Hope you enjoyed. This was fun. I liked, I liked this one with the luminol spray and the testing for fingerprints. It was cute. They're, they're a little bit cuter gimmicks on the DS, but they're still fun and I like them. It'll be interesting in the next game if they show up. I feel like they should, but I just don't remember them very well. Anyway, we got some good good deets this time. We are slowly starting to form more of an idea of what's going on. It seems like this is a pretty... This cave just runs deep. Nah. And all the stuff with Marshall, like, I don't know. I, I We're about halfway through. Are we really going to find... I don't know if he killed anybody, but he might have been an accomplice or something. But I don't think he's the big bad, but we'll have to see. So, until I see whatever I see you next, remember to be kind to others, especially yourself. Take care and I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye!